What is up, my beautiful Saint Society? It is your favorite one to be influencer, Saint. And guys, if you read the title, you already freaking know that me, your girl, is going to Wendy's to try their breakfast for the very first time. Guys, I'm pretty freaking excited about this, okay? I literally never had Wendy's breakfast. I did not know they even had a breakfast until like maybe a couple of weeks ago. So I was like, bruh, when I saw that they released the new French toast sticks, I had to come try it because I love me some French toast, okay? So if you want to see me try Wendy's breakfast for the very first time, then keep on watching. All right, guys, let's get into this video oh, you all right could I get the number 10 you said a number 10 yep what kind of drink can I get that frosty chino chocolate or uh, vanilla uh, vanilla please would I quit your order um, nope could I also try the honey butter biscuit And then you the said a honey butter biscuit. Yes, ma'am. Okay. And then the sausage gravy and biscuit. Would I put your order? Um, and then the seasonal fruit, and that'll be uh -huh. it. The seasonal fruit, and that'll be it. You want the apple bite? Yeah, whatever the seasonal fruit is. <laughs> Thirteen forty-two. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, guys, I did not know they had all this stuff. Oh dang! They had the hot honey chicken biscuit. If you did not watch my my uh, videos, really, really old. But when they first came out with this like hot honey chicken sandwich, it was so freaking good, guys. So they have it in a biscuit. So I might come on back and uh, give that a taste. But I'm excited. Uh -huh. Ooh. <laughs> Frosty Chino. I wonder if it's like like a root beer float, but like ice cream and coffee. <laughs> Because that's what it looks like to me. Hi. Can I have an extra syrup? Can I have an extra syrup? Yeah, but how many you want? I put two. Oh, you put, oh okay, thank you. Yeah. Let's find a spot. Uh, <laughs> all right, guys. Let's just get into it. Now, I'm going to go right in with these bad boys right here. If you focus. Those look so good. These are their new French toast sticks. And French toast sticks, oh, literally one of my favorite breakfast meals, favorite breakfast, breakfast items. <laughs> Focus, there we go. Oh yeah, baby. So I really hope these are good. Is it paying cows? No. But would I get it again? Yeah. Mm. Not super flavorful. But not bad. Basically what you would expect out of, you know, fast food French toast sticks. <laughs> it's not I hop or Denny's. <laughs> but it's good. those a solid five out of ten pretty average but still pretty good then they came with some fries now you guys know i'm not much of a potato fan truly so I might not be much of a potato person, but I'm going to be one today. 
You look actually pretty good. Regular fries, didn't be too crazy. <laughs> Pretty good though. I think that's for any ketchup, but should I hear that crunch though? <laughs> that is literally my favorite food texture. Like I didn't know I had a preference until like recently. But my favorite food texture is like when something is crunchy on the outside but soft on the inside. So like when I make my pancakes, I always make sure they're like golden brown on the outside and super fluffy and buttery on the inside. Man, best texture ever. The best. <laughs> now, how do you guys make your pancakes? Because me, I use the... I think it's, well, Pearl Milling Company now. Pearl Milling Company, the complete pancake mix because I was a lazy. Who the heck gonna cook all that, you know? Eggs and milk and stuff. No, ma'am, add some water. What's growing up? <laughs> Throw in the pan. Um, but I like to add whipped butter into my batter. Really was hit up because I found out that it makes the pancakes so soft so buttery and delicious in the inside guys you gotta try that you have to and when i put it on there my pancake when i'm pouring it i always love to like put butter in the middle of it so that way when i set the pancake in it like spreads out with the butter and it makes a perfect little brown crisp ring around it so when i cut it I'll get the first initial bite of like the crunch of the like buttery brown outside and then the buttery sweet delicious fluffy inside guys try it it'll change your life I'm trying to tell you okay so right here guys if i can get it to focus there's a biscuit now biscuits are my favorite food that was really dark biscuits are my favorite food in the whole wide world okay listen i die for some biscuits and i only eat pillsbury okay well unless i'm at a fast restaurant but i only eat pillsbury if you don't eat pillsbury biscuits baby what you doing give you some of that pillsbury but anyways so if this is not good i'm gonna be really really sad because i love biscuits so when you bite something and you don't know if you like it or don't like it I don't know um this is the the butter biscuit honey butter biscuit I mean I don't know. <laughs> it's like the taste is just weird.
I have no way of explaining that. <laughs> hmm. I guess if I was at a friend's house and their mom made this biscuit, I would eat it out of respect for my friend and mom. But I wouldn't buy this again. And I sure as heck wouldn't make it. <laughs> so that's where I'm at when it comes to that so try that biscuit at your own risk okay <laughs> all right guys now to try the biscuits and gravy go focus so guys i had to get this i had to because i remember um at my job we had like a my managers threw us um like a little breakfast potluck for like having no going all like a week or two weeks without making any mistakes or any transactions um so they threw us like a little potluck and my manager my male manager he's white he made this he made this like the gravy with and he bought biscuits and when i went up to it you know i was like so he's a white guy and majority of my branch is full of black people um, mostly black women really it's like 14 black women to like 5 guys <laughs> but most of it is black people so you know how black people we how we are we like our food to be heavily seasoned okay heavily okay I need the flavors to be bursting right so but you know my manager he's white so I had to test him I'm just like now you got an all black branch you know how he is okay so I was like, you season this? He was like, he was like, yeah, 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 definitely, I definitely season it. But you know, sometimes you gotta be a little skeptical. Cause seasoning, they be meaning like salt and pepper. Nah, baby. I'm talking about some nature. So um slap your mammy. Some something. More than just salt, pepper, and paprika, baby. Those don't got flavor. I need, I need sustenance. Man, I was like, let me give it a little try. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a little scoop. Put a little something. If it's nasty, then I won't get no more. Y'all. We had taught him well. So I'm gonna say, so I'm gonna say, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, that thing right there, yeah, he knew what he was dealing with. He knew what he was dealing with. That thing was delicious, okay? So now I love this gravy, like I love it, and I really want this to be good because if it don't taste like his gravy, I'm probably be a little sad. So I'm just babbling. <sighs> <laughs> I'm gonna just say this I'm gonna leave it alone this tastes exactly how I was expecting his to taste <laughs> um it need more seasoning yeah Definitely. Definitely more seasoning. Now what you all have been waiting for. Doesn't look as appetizing. Let me focus. But nonetheless, it might still be good. So let's just give her a little quick taste the room. Thus far, everything's been I guess that's why Wendy's breakfast is not heavily talked about because I didn't even know they served breakfast until like maybe like three weeks ago. And now I see why. Because nobody talks about it. That tastes like if I put some water in some ice, 
splash, a dash of milk in it, and a pinch of sugar. That's what this tastes like. Milky water. <laughs> Milky water. Wow. That's crazy. I mean, I guess everybody has their, you know, strengths and weaknesses. Because Wendy's, you know, lunch and dinner, their dinner and lunch food is good. This, they skimped. Definitely. 100%. It just doesn't, you know, it's all, it had me in the first half. Let's just say it like that. It had me in the first half. It had me in the first half. Everything looked good. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. How disappointing. How unfortunate. Well, I mean, the last thing that I got was some apples. I mean, but how... If they mess up apples, baby. I don't know what to tell you. And these look like Granny Smith's. So, you know, Granny Smith apples, which are the green ones, they're sour. Oh, these are Granny Smith apples. Either Gala, I think it's Gala. Apples for the win. <laughs> the only thing they didn't make in there. Wow. <laughs> this is Arby's backwards. <laughs> Two out of ten wouldn't recommend. I mean, it's okay. In a scenario, basically, if Wendy's was the only place around serving breakfast, the only restaurant around serving breakfast, and I was running late for work and I need some breakfast, I come here. Cause this is like this is a food for starve. This is a restaurant for starvation, not for craving. You saying? Yeah, guys, this breakfast was not very, you know, wow, so delicious. I definitely come back type of thing, you know, but speaking of wow factor, <laughs> guys, I just wanted to say a big, huge, ginormous thank you to 344 subscribers, guys. Literally, when I saw that my channel hit 300 subs, I was at work and I almost fell out my dang chair. Guys, literally just watching this, us grow over the past couple of days, I was really not expecting that video to blow up. I really appreciate all the love and support, guys, all the comments. You guys make me so freaking happy. Welcome to all my beautiful New City Society members. I'm so happy that you're new members to the society. <laughs> I do read every single comment and I try to reply to everyone. So I do see all you guys' comments. Thank you so much for all the love about my bow and my hair because this is my style, okay? This is my first time with my hair being really fully natural since I was literally a baby. So I'm just really embracing it and really happy about it. And I've been getting so much love. And bows are have always been something I loved and wanted to wear, but never really had the hair for it, if you know what I mean. <laughs> so I'm just so happy, guys. I'm just so appreciative of all the love and support. I cannot wait to just see us grow bigger and bigger to the point where I'll be able to be here way more for you guys because this is what I really want to do. Um, but I just want to take this time to just really say thank you so much for all the love and support, guys. Thank you so much for commenting. Thank you so much for subscribing to me. Thank you so much for liking me enough to join my beautiful little society that I have going on over here. Um, I hope to upload way more videos for you guys. But, yeah, this was not really a good one <laughs> and i'm sorry about that um but i'm hoping to try other stuff in the future also concerning a makeup tutorial guys i had somebody a couple of people ask me about that 
guys, I don't really wear a lot. I don't really do much. So, I mean, I will try to put something together, but I'm probably gonna drag somebody in with me who actually really loves makeup because I, I'm, I'm a basic gal. Like, I don't really wear a lot. So, <laughs> I'll see what about that in the future, but I wanna make sure that you guys know that I'm acknowledging you. Um, but I will be trying more restaurants that you guys comment down below. So, please comment down restaurants you want me to try, items you want me to try from different restaurants that I've been to. Also, guys, follow me on Instagram at Saint underscore Curvy. I post over there. I ask you guys to ask me questions on my videos over there so just please follow me on instagram <laughs> so you can keep up with my day to day um but i love you guys so much i'm gonna quit freaking babbling because i have babylon long enough okay <laughs> but guys always remember if you do not fit into this white ass society come on over to saint society because what society is better than saint society i'll tell you baby nobody's okay as y'all have figured out <laughs> all right guys i love ya bye